A retired military commander has told the BBC Taiwan would be unable to resist the use of force by an increasingly assertive China. It follows a warning by the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, that Beijing is pursuing unification on a much faster timeline than previously thought. Our correspondent Rupert Wingfield Hayes has been to the Taiwanese island of Jinmen to assess the growing threat. The island of Jinmen is so close to China, they used to blast anti-communist propaganda from these giant speakers to people living on the Chinese coast. It all looks peaceful today, a tourist curiosity. But twice in the last 70 years, China has tried to cross these narrow straits. The island is still a fortress covered in tunnels, bunkers and lookouts. So the main island of Taiwan is 150 kilometers away from here across the Taiwan Strait. But this is the real front line between Taiwan and mainland China. Because take a look at this. This across here is the Chinese city of Xiamen, one of the wealthiest cities in China. And this behind me here, this is the Taiwanese military outpost called Lion Rock. And it's from here that a Chinese drone flew over the top of this outpost on September the 1st, and they shot it down. The last time Chinese troops tried to come up these beaches, they were no match for Taiwan's forces. But retired Colonel Chen Shui Tai says today it would be completely different. Now it's the opposite, he says. The gap between China's military power and Taiwan's is getting bigger and bigger. Their military power is getting stronger and stronger. If Xi Jinping is determined to use military force, then Taiwan can't stop them. In July, Taiwan put on this huge military drill. It's aimed to show how well prepared the island is to fend off a Chinese attack. Instead, critics say it showed how vulnerable Taiwan's forces are to a bigger, more modern, more heavily armed foe. One of the fiercest critics is the man who used to command Taiwan's armed forces. If we remain unchanged, we will be defeated, certainly. No doubt about it. I urge the government you got to take action. You got to, you have to take action right now. We don't have time to, 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 to consider or research or study it again and again. The time is not on our sides. Man down, man down, man down. Admiral Lee is not the only one to feel the sense of urgency. Thousands of civilians are joining training programs like this one to learn how to fight if war comes. Like all the young men here, Jay Lai has done his military service, but he says it taught him nothing about real fighting. No, no, we didn't learn anything about the rifle or gun, no. But uh, you learn about concept, but I never touched a gun in 11 months. <laughs> when you live with a threat so close for so long, it's easy to become complacent, to believe it won't happen. But as Admiral Lee put it to me, no country can rely on the kindness of its enemy. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Taiwan.